In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get started with the new Gemini Pro model within Google AI Studio. So the Gemini Pro model was just released yesterday through their API, and there's a ton of good examples on how to get started in various programming languages, as well as if you're just interested in playing around with this within a GUI, and you wanna play around and see what it's capable of with passing in images and that type of thing. So the thing that's most exciting about this potentially is that you're able to access the Gemini Pro model through through their API for free for up to 60 queries per minute. So this is a huge amount of queries that if you were an open AI or an anthropic to be able to have that many queries per minute, it would add up very, very quickly potentially in terms of your bill and your usage for all the different tokens. So this tier in particular is sort of like a scorched earth approach, especially for hobbyists. This is an incredibly powerful model. So it's somewhere on the uh, comparable level of something like GPT 3.5. So it does very well with reasoning. And the fact that it's free, I think, is going to appeal to an incredible a lot of uh, AI developers here. So to get started with the uh, Google AI Studio, if you just head over to ai.google.dev and you just click Get API key in Google AI Studio. So I made a video yesterday on how to get set up with Google Cloud. So if you're looking to go into Google Cloud, uh, set up an account, go into Vertex AI and build this within an application, I'll link the video to that within this as well. But if you just wanna play around with a model, you can just simply go to uh, the Google AI Studio, set up an account with your uh, Google account like you typically would. You don't need to put in a credit card or anything to get started with this. And what you'll be able to do is as soon as you accept all the terms and conditions there, like you just saw me do, you'll have access to both the Gemini Pro and the Gemini Pro Vision model. So the Gemini Pro Vision model, you can pass in both images and text. So if you say, here's a screenshot, build this in uh, Tailwind and uh, HTML or whatever you want to do, or what is in this photo or describe this photo or whatever you want to sort of do with the vision portion, you can do that within here. So you can also, just like you would interact with uh, within a playground, something like the OpenAI playground, you can play around with the model in here as well. So there's also some other good examples. So if you're looking to get some ideas on how to actually leverage these models, they have a good prompt template gallery here where you can just sort of look around and get used to uh, how to work with the model or get some ideas on how you could potentially use it. And the other nice thing is within the AI studio, you can also select get code here and there are more options than what are available within the Google Cloud implementation, at least as of now. So this gives you the JavaScript implementation, Python, it gives you even Android and Swift, where you can just go ahead, copy these and paste them within your code editor and get started with uh, building on these things. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you obviously wanted to make an API key, it's just right here in the left-hand side. So if you're copying code over, just make sure that you're grabbing the API key as well. But that's it for this one. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And otherwise, until the next one.